Unraveled the Life and Death of a Garment by Maxine Badat offers a piercing exploration into the intricate journey of a simple everyday product, a pair of jeans. This groundbreaking work delves into the jeans life cycle, providing a vivid portrayal of the global supply chains that manufacture such garments, while shedding light on the environmental and human impact of the fashion industry. Through meticulous research and keen observations, Bedat reveals how this ubiquitous item functions as a microcosm of the global economy, exposing the underlying fractures within our production and consumption systems and scrutinizing the hidden costs behind our clothing. Bedat embarks on this exploration by tracing the jeans journey right from the beginning, starting at a cotton farm in Texas. Here, she highlights the challenges and dilemmas modern farmers face particularly their reliance on harmful fertilizers and the environmental toll of conventional farming practices. The book underscores efforts by some farmers to cultivate cotton sustainably, striving to reduce dependence on chemicals that degrade soil health and poison ecosystems. The journey progresses to the industrial heartlands of China, where the raw cotton is transformed into fabric. In the dyeing and weaving factories, Bedat paints a stark picture of chemical-laden environments where substances banned in developed countries flow freely, their runoff contaminating waterways essential for local agriculture. This step in the gene's journey reveals not just the environmental hazards, but also the inequities at play in global manufacturing, where environmental regulations are often circumvented to enhance productivity and lower costs. As the narrative moves to the sewing floors in Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, Bedat provides a haunting glimpse into the lives of garment workers, predominantly women, who labor under harsh conditions for wages that often fall below legal minimums. The book powerfully illustrates the inhuman aspects of fast fashion, where efficiency and cost-cutting often take precedence over fair labor practices and workers' well-being. Once assembled, these genes travel back to America, where they become part of the massive distribution machinery of companies like Amazon. Here, Bedat discusses the pressures faced by warehouse workers tasked with stowing, picking, and shipping products at demanding speeds. The book also touches upon the looming threat of automation, which may soon replace human workers altogether, further evidencing the relentless pursuit of efficiency that prioritizes profits over people. The life cycle of the genes concludes with their disposal, providing a revealing look at the stark realities of consumerism and waste. Bedat describes how genes that are discarded end up in landfills, contributing to environmental degradation or are shipped to Africa's secondhand markets. Even there, they are often sold for a pittance or end up being incinerated, posing broader questions about the sustainability of our consumption habits and the global waste crisis. Throughout Unraveled, Bedat engages the reader with in-depth reporting and evocative storytelling, prompting a critical reflection on the broader implications of the fashion industry on society and the planet. The book is not merely about a pair of jeans, but serves as a mirror reflecting the issues inherent in our global economic system emphasizing the disconnect between consumers and the products they purchase. By bringing forth these insights, Bedat forces readers to reconsider their roles as consumers and urges them to become more conscientious citizens. She argues for a shift away from the destructive cycles of fast fashion towards more sustainable and equitable systems that prioritize the well-being of all involved, from producers to the environment. In essence, unraveled, calls for a radical rethinking of our approach to clothing and consumerism, challenging us to wield our purchasing power responsibly to drive change and cultivate a future where people and the planet thrive symbiotically. You can listen to the full audiobook for free or buy this book by following the URL in the description.